I've been to this anchorage many times and it's usually a pretty laid back spot, but the past few days were different because of the incoming swell. It's a shallow bay and the waves can break at any moment, it seems. I did not feel so safe here with Gallopon. These waves ought to come in here, it's just crazy. It's time for us to go here in uh, Boa Vista. We had fun yesterday with uh, Mauricio, had a few drinks with Barak, it was fun. Uh, and on the way back, it was tricky because there's a lot of swell. It's a strange swell coming from the north and it's coming into the bay and uh, we're really happy. <laughs> we came in yesterday, we got through the waves and stuff, safe and sound. And he was pulling and tugging and I told 30, I think we should um, hoist the dinghy up and put the motor away and everything like that. We undo it, it's kind of sloshing around back and forth. We pull it up and all of a sudden, you know, we lose our balance and we both fall in the water with the motor. <laughs> Ferdy's the first one and I'm like, oh fuck, and I fall in too, oh shit. And I see the motor and he's holding on to it. And I'm like, like, like oh, I gotta get it up and just settle it. And just, I don't know what happened. He says, what happened? You know, Alex, you know, just some strength. I just like, Rah! Pull it out of the water. At first I had to get myself out of the water. Pull it. Yeah. <laughs> then pull it out of the water. I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. Anyways, we got it up and we we're like, oh no, it's all wet, it's all salty. We tried to start it last night and it started a little bit. And uh, much to our surprise, we were able to start it this morning. So we're gonna just let it be today. We gotta get out of here because it's too swelling. And apparently there's, the swell is going to increase, it's going to get bigger, so, and it's not, I don't feel safe here, I mean, I mean, look at these waves, shit, look at this one. Huge. We're going to lift anchor and uh, go down to the next island, Mayo. It's going to be about a 12 hour journey, more or less, we'll see. The wind is good, it'll be in our backs, but, yeah, the swell here is not, not good. It's because it's coming from the north, usually it's more of a comes from the northeast, but here it's coming from the north. It's coming in into the bay here and around here. And look at these big waves over there. Let's get ready to go. And we should be out of here in about a half hour. We'll check in then, okay? I'm gonna do my Eric the Viking from No Bullshit Just Sailing impersonation here. It was getting very dangerous here. The swell was coming into the bay at an alarming force. You can see the waves breaking nearby. There is a dangerous high ground there where boats have met their fateful end. It was best to head out into the open ocean. People think it is dangerous out here, but in fact, it is sailing close to the coast that is dangerous and risky. We had a good wind to get us out of harm's way. We have also a good crew and a great boat. Okay, enough, Eric. It wasn't that dramatic, really. But I will admit that I wasn't so comfortable on anchor over there in the bay. Glad to be out here. It was a good day of sailing, downwind, at no more than 20 knots. The only thing was that we got in a little after midnight to anchor in the next bay. We're now on the island of Mayo and um, just started up the dinghy motor. It was not starting at first and uh, because we fell in the water over there in uh, Boa Vista. And now uh, Ferdy's taking a little, little test drive around. Hope he comes back. Where are you, Ferdy? Ferdy is behind that boat over there. Come back. Ferdy's testing out the dinghy. Last time he went off over there in the direction of the wind, and I'm like, oh man, if something goes wrong and the motor stalls, you'll be floating away. We won't be able to get you back. So I said, this time go into the wind in case it stalls. You can always, you know, let the wind push you back to, to Galopan. 
So it seems like it's working, you know? I mean, it fell in the water bad. I mean, it really almost fell to the bottom. But it seems like it's running. Might be a little bit of salt. Hopefully, by running it like that, it'll flush it out and the car will be clean. Oh, here he goes. Well, me and Ferdy are hoping that we fix the engine. We found out there was a um, stripped bolt on the engine block on which the um, carburetor attaches to. And the bolt, the nut, would, would attach. So like, what do we do? Ferdy had a great idea. Just taking a piece of wood to block it in place. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, let me look online how we could do a fix a strip bolt, but no, there's no easy solution, so we did use a piece of wood. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Good job, Alex. <laughs> Good idea, Ferdy, man. So we got the dinghy motor all fixed up, and I forgot to mention we washed it clean of salt with fresh water after it fell into the ocean. And here, we cleaned the carburetor, and it's been running great ever since. This is the island of Mayu, a very chilled place. We checked in with the authorities and got lunch here. We spotted this woman here making pastels fried snacks we thought would be great to take with us on our next passage. Music was playing one of Cabo Verde's recent club hits. The locals were impressed I knew the tune, and that we spoke real. All right, we're on uh, next to the last day of our trip. Just left Mayo, got excellent conditions here. About 17 to 20 knots of wind at a beam. State of the sea is pretty nice. A little choppy, no big waves. And we're heading to the island of Santiago, which is about 25 miles away. So we should be there end of day. And we're gonna go try to anchor at this place called Cidade Veia. It's one of my favorite anchorages in all the islands. Technically, you have to ask permission to go there. We're not gonna ask permission. We're just gonna go there, drop anchor, have dinner, and then leave early in the morning to go back to Tarafal because uh, Ferdi has to get back there. But so far, having a fantastic time. Mayo was cool, chilled out, then party, no drinking. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a grog tonight <laughs> and stuff, but it's Sunday, so anyways, yeah, wonderful, man. Man, that was a great ride. We're in Ciudad de Bella. We're gonna drop the anchor right in front of that little cave there. That's where I usually go. I'm ready to put the anchor off. Okay. Ferdy has learned to drop anchor really well. Check that off the list. Ferdy wants to find lobster for dinner tonight. Hopefully we'll find it. Our last 
supper together, man. Yeah. We woo, played to celebrate. Yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah. Say we celebrate, huh? Yeah, everything was works good. Yeah, man. We. We got what we wanted, but wait, there's more. How did we end today? Oh, today, today. Oh, it was heavy. <laughs> I was yesterday told you that. Uh, uh, thank you very much for everything, Alex. And you told me so. Hey, wait, wait. The bench is not <laughs> finished at the moment. So <laughs> we have more than one day. And uh, in the reality, it was so. Like uh, it came so 25 uh, to 30 notes. We was going to the north, and it was very windy and heavy waves. I was thinking, oh my goodness. I'm hoping we came scoot on here, Tagafal. But it was uh, coming good out. So even though it was it was not easy, is it more fun than uh, your job in Zurich? Oh, this is uh, two things completely different. This is like stay at night. Thanks for coming aboard Gatopine Winded Voyage. This is our studios. You know, it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community there. Uh, we've got a lot of cool extra perks this year, like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus our friend and patron Graham started a WhatsApp chat that he aptly called Gallopin's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined and we can talk, chat, uncensored, say whatever we want and discuss anything. And it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this Living Adventure series. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, just make sure to give us a like or dislike or leave a comment and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along on Winded Voyage, man.